turning my, I don't know, I've been turning my light on early because it gets dark so fast. So I've been turning on mine early because I see the neighbor be turning. Well, I don't know why my light is not cutting on. I put in the wrong bed. Sorry, guys. I think I put in the wrong bed. Okay, here we go. So I turned it on early because it gets dark pretty, pretty fast. So I gotta go do my hair over for uh, work tomorrow. I'll be right back. Y'all see my struggle braids? <laughs> Y'all see my struggle braids, okay? So I decided to do this natural hairstyle. I'm gonna show you. Pigtail braids, they the struggle braids, but I'm about to do it over so it'll be a little bit neater. And I figure I'll show y'all this little quick natural hairstyle with curly hair. And I'm gonna be using my eco styler, my wet line, and some water. I did take off my eyebrows, I use the equate, but I think I may have to switch over with the equate because, hunty, it's been some white stuff. I don't have my eyebrows on, I took everything off, okay, when I come home. So I use the Equate. I got that from Walmart. It was like a dollar something. So basically, I'm gonna take my hair out. Ooh, and when I say it lasts all day, it was like a cute style. My hair is like, I just don't like my hair super dried up. So I'm gonna wet it with some warm water. And kinda like take out the water follicles because that gel would have my hair lasting for weeks, but me, I like stuff to be, I like my hair to be freshly. I don't know if anybody else like this, any other natural skills, but I like my hair and my curls to be fresh, you know, for the next day. Not that I do it every day, but I like it to be fresh. So, because it's very thick, it makes it heavy, very last all day. I could do this, but my edges are still late. So, we're going to get it wet. And then I do put water inside of my um, wet line gel and my eco styler. So I just do this. So I won't be too hard and kind of break up the styler for the parting. And then I take my eco styler and I just do a little bit of water. Yep. Because it won't have my hair too, too hard. And then I just wet it. Yep. And it doesn't, it does nothing, but it just helps me because I don't like that super hard, stiff look. And my part is not about to be perfect, guys. At all. So I'm throwing my wet line in here, just getting my hair curled. I don't know, I just came up with the style, so I just parted it. The struggle, and that's from, um, what is my girl name that I watch all the time? Taste Pink, oh, I love her, because she be with the struggle braids, but she be slaying, okay? She be slaying, so now that I got this side like this, you can leave the front like this, because that's how you want it. So I'm going to just take, yep. Yeah. It could be struggle, but you're going to lay them edges and you're going to be right. You turn the wood off so y'all can hear me. And I just braid it real cute, and then I put it back in a bun and I'm just gathering the pieces. It's not French braids, it's cornrows actually. I can do French braids but I don't know. I kinda was in the moment. I thought of this yesterday and I went to work like this and everything and thought it was cute. With like your makeup done and a popping lip. And I left the end out because I wanted to gather it with the other side and do a bun. So you can put some gel or something to hold it down. So in the end, it's going to look like this. I just take some gel and I just leave it like that. <laughs> My struggle braid, okay. And now we're going to go to the other side. I, I know I'm so rough with my hair. I shouldn't be rough, but look how my hair is growing. Oh, jeez. I dropped some gel everywhere. So you're just going to take the front part. Doesn't have to be even. The part don't have to be even. This is a part of nature. This is a part of being natural. I'm gonna hurry up because I don't want my phone to die. So I've been vlogging in like bits and pieces. Cause I don't know my camera's been dying out. All right. 
How is everybody Christmas shopping going? So I just twirled it up. And all right, so I kind of gather it. You can take it goes finally, you can take that. And I gather it and I like loosen it in the back so I can have that wet look. And I'm taking one scrunchy. You can put it in the middle or the back. It's, you can do it tight. And take some more gel so you can have that curl look. And I take one piece and I curl it. And I wrap it around. Y'all know how I do my buns. And I curl this one. And I wrap it around again. And I take another scrunchie. And I wrap it into like a nice bun and just leave it like curly. So, I don't know. It depends on how you like your bun. Oh, God, I did these ones higher. Actually better than yesterday. But, yeah, it can sit like that. And I'll take like a brush and do my edges. Yeah, you just kind of like slay your edges. I hope y'all can see this because it's so dark. It seems like my bathroom don't have no good lighting, but I'll bring it up. But your edge is going to look like that. And you just want to hook them up on each side. My edges last all day. All day with this stuff. And you kind of just want to do your edges. This is just like a quick style for work. If you work and you don't want to be bothered. So, yeah, let me dry my hands and then I'll show you all a close. And it really, it's really, really cute for work. I was like, okay, I like this style for work. And my edges was like laid all day, guys. Like my edges were laid all day. I just wanted to show y'all in the light. So I will be back. Just cleaned up, guys, because I'm claustrophobic. Everything got to be cleaned and neat. Um, I cleaned everything up, put in the cabinets, got everything ready for dinner. I got my oodles and noodles for tomorrow. <laughs> so they have a build a sentence and it starts off with my, my name, my name is, and then he has to write his name at the end. That's name, N-A-M-E, name, N-A-M-E. Pretty, pretty good. Vlogmas, everybody. We officially made it to Vlogmas Day 12. So, I, we just got work at school. So, now we're doing kindergarten homework. You have to write who five times has in day. These are the words of the week. Or you have um, letters of the week. So, usually his homework is to read the book of the week this week it is the street book so he has to read it because the teacher may ask you know about the book so i'm on him about this these are all the books from the week's briar this is a little book bag i got from family dollar so the homework kindergarten homework for those of you who kids are going to kindergarten is basically words of the week I mean, letters of the week and words of the week. Each day, Monday through Thursday, he has homework. So, he has, the teacher will write, you know, if he was good or if he was bad. They have colors. And um, they have everything you have to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So, right now, we're starting off with writing our words of the week five times. That's how many times? You have to go five times. Five. That's two times. Keep, keep going. Everything five times. Um, all right, I'll be right back. Look at our slippers. Excuse my ashiness, but look at our slippers. 